Hey guys, I'm Sam Wilson. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to my studio, Doghouse Studios. Um, I am a co-owner with Gabe Rabin, who's behind the boards today. I'd like to welcome you here. Thanks to Runway Audio, they've actually built me a pretty gorgeous board, which I'll be talking about a little more in depth. Just wanted to start talking about this uh, Revelator Retrosonic, which is basically... Uh, Eric Stein's take on the the Telecaster. This one's got a humbucker in it. Besides that, it's a pretty vintage spec. It's got a uh, 9.5 radius, so it makes it bending a little easier, a little bit more of a modern feel. I've got the Buds single coil in here, made by Dave Buds. Fantastic. And then the Klein, I just think it's called the Vintage Series, but... It's a great, great guitar. It's really cool. It's taken on my finger markings really nicely because um, of the unfinished fretboard. It's got a big, thick baseball bat neck, which I really like. And it's just a great guitar. I fell in love with it. I went into Eastside Music one day, and I was like, I'm walking out with a Telecaster. And sure enough, I picked this one up and just, you know, maybe a half an hour later was buying it. Um, I like it because the the bridge pickup never sounds too bright and brittle, which can happen with Telecasters. And then if you go the P90 route or humbucker, you're really u uh, losing the real character of what you want in a Tele, especially for, I mean, that sound right there is like the Nashville sound with the ODR and the light speed. So that's a nice example of the uh, sort of overdriven sound and then more of a clean sound. Kind of gets more of that sort of slappy country sound, which is... Uh, we all need to do every now and then. But also, probably the setting I use most on it is the middle setting, which blends the humbucker. And these uh, these two pickups match particularly nicely together. Sort of still retains the highs, but gets a little more body. going to the neck pickup let's just go totally clean
So it really gets a nice variety of sounds. Um, in a lot of the touring that I did, if I had to only bring one guitar, I would uh, I would bring this a lot of times just because it can, you know, it can get big fat, big fat rock sounds, and also just like sort of softer, you know, prettier sounds as well. So just a great guitar all around if you're looking for a vintage Tele. Um, I think you should definitely investigate into Revelator. Hey, this is Sam Wilson, and uh, this is uh, the studio of Gabe Ravin and myself, uh, Doghouse Studios. Welcome. Thanks to uh, Runway Audio for for producing this video. I'm super excited about it. And uh, again, talking about the Revelator Retrosonic, which is sort of what introduced me to to Revelator. I just I fell in love with this guitar. Uh, Gabe and I have used it on dozens of sessions, and um, production projects and it's just one of those guitars that feels really good in your hands you know just you always want to be playing it um it's not too bright sounding which happens to a lot of tellies and it's not it's not too dark it's just that perfect blend so definitely recommend if you like vintage style telecasters and can't afford one like me then uh <laughs> go to uh talk to eric because he builds amazing guitars with tons of soul um, can't recommend them enough. Mm -hmm. 